<clears throat> Hi and welcome, it's Peg, and today we were working on the Peg Stick Challenge for the month of April. Pick a stick is something that Shell and I have done for, I don't know, six years or more now, I think. And we pull sticks and get prompts, and then you just do the prompts in the order that they're listed. We have two colors. And, uh, yeah, they just, they just uh, direct what you're doing. So the first one here is sketch or something like that. Draw a sketch, I can't remember. Anyway, I just sketched some marks on my canvas and now I am tearing up some of this paper because we were using papers from our Art Joy of Sharing Facebook group because there are about 300 different digital download papers that people have shared in the group. And so if you're looking for a particular color of paper, you can just go in and print something out. I'm also using this iZinc product uh, from Seth Apter as my glue today. It's a glaze and it will work as both a glue and a glaze. So the colors are coral and lilac. So I have this uh, lilac colored glaze and a coral colored paper and I'm putting those down to start my canvas. Now this stuff is really, really sticky, um, so I, I don't think I'm going to have any trouble keeping things stuck down with it. What I am going to have trouble with is that uh, sticky surface later, so I will have to coat it with something just to keep everything from sticking to it. Sorry about my voice today, guys. Uh, it's spring and the pollen is out, <laughs> and I am really being affected by the pollen. So yeah, I've got kind of this tenor bass baritone thing going on and uh, not too much I can do about that. <clears throat> so I'm going to use my palette knife because the second prompt here is scratch. So I'm just scratching down some of this ice ink ice over these papers and getting them adhered to the surface. Now, our challenge this month in Art Joy Sharing was to use these papers that were being provided by other artists and incorporate them into our artwork. So, you know, we're doing two things here. I'm using the prompts from the Pick a Stick Challenge, which we offer once a month, and uh, I'm using papers provided in the Facebook group. So if you're not a member of Art Joy Sharing Facebook group, come and join us. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we have multiple prompts each month, and we always love to see the artwork that people are doing. You know, you don't have to do the prompts, but show us Show us your work that's related to our joy of sharing because, you know, everybody gets inspired when they see what someone else is using or doing. Um, you know, it's like I'm using these products because, you know, maybe somebody else has them and hasn't had them out yet. And I'm thinking, well, you know, I've got them. I should probably dig them out and give them a try. So I don't really have that coral color. So I'm just mixing up some paint to... Uh, get to something that kind of replicates that color. And the next prompt is crinkle. So I've crinkled some wax paper and I'm just dipping it in that color, that corally color that I created by mixing some paints. And I'm going to apply it to the surface of my panel. The next prompt in the list, which is prompt number four, and there are six prompts all together. If you don't like one of those six, then there are two wild cards. So you can use the wild cards. You can use the wild cards anyway if you feel like doing more prompts. It's not mandatory, you know, that you just stick to what is on the list of six. So um, now that I've got this fairly dry, 
<laughs> you know, it's, we're doing a live show and we have to dry things down in between. And typically I try to cut some of this stuff out. And up to number four, the next prompt is mica. So I have the sheet mica and I'm peeling it apart, showing people how they can use it, uh, the different layers. I'm using some mica powder, which is Perfect Pearls, which has a fixative in the powder itself. But you want to be careful not to breathe these powders. Mica is not a good thing to breathe, but they're very pretty and shimmery. And what I'm doing is I'm using those powders on that sticky surface because that will take away some of that tackiness. And, uh, yeah, sticking to what we have for prompts, the next one is letters. So I've grabbed a stamp that's full of letters, and I'm going to stamp that with another sticky medium, which is some uh, ink. And then I'm going to use some of those uh, Perfect Pearls powders over the top of that stamped ink and make another layer. So letters was number five, and now we're on to number six, which is blend. So now I'm using another shade of this uh, ice resin, and I'm putting it over the whole piece just to unify and blend the colors. And then I'm going to add some of this coppery uh, leafing. Uh, I have this in several different colors, but I really thought the copper would be pretty on this background. So I'm just pushing that into the sticky surface and getting it to adhere. And then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do for the rest of this. Um, there, The wild cards are game, piece, and copy. Well, we've already used copy because we used copies of these uh, papers that were provided by our community and uh, I've got a bunch of game pieces but I just wasn't sure what I wanted to use there so I grabbed some mica and I start uh, stamping and doing some things and ultimately in the end I decide I really didn't like the game pieces on there so uh, it wasn't mandatory that I use them because it's a wild card I didn't have to have it so I'm not gonna have it <laughs> and you're gonna see that in the end but now I'm just adding some uh, additional paint and dripping it down I wanted that uh, purpley violet color incorporated into the background. So I had these uh, game piece stamps, which were like lose your turn and spin again, that sort of thing. And I thought, well, you know, I'm not going to use a game piece, but I do have these uh, sayings from games and board games, that sort of thing. And I thought, well, they would be appropriate on here. It'd be a lot of fun to do something like that. I ultimately decided I did not like the stamped image put on the mica and it just wasn't working out so I tossed that aside and decided to uh, do something entirely different. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this section. I was not a happy camper. This wasn't coming together for me. So ultimately, I ripped most of that stuff off and go a different direction. And I will show you that part.
So ultimately what I did was to go back to the letters and I found these sticker letters that I've had in my stash for I don't know how many years. And I'm just going to glue these down. I'm going to say spin again and put that on my background and uh, finish up a few other things on here. Nothing major, but uh, I was much happier with this piece once I changed up the look of all of that, uh, I don't know, gobbledygook I had glued down in the middle. Just wasn't cutting it for me. So it was just, it was too busy, too much stuff. And you know, sometimes you have to walk away and come back and look at things and decide what is it about this you don't like? What is it you do like? How can you fix it so that it, you know, becomes more pleasing to the eye? And this is how I fixed it. I got out my pens. I did a little bit of line work around the lettering. Uh, I wrote the spin again part on there. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of an off day. And, but, you know, we work at art, whether it's an off day or an on day, because uh, the practice of art is just that. You need to practice, you need to try things, you need to uh, have a critical eye when you're putting things together. And not everything is going to turn out wonderful, special, especially when. Uh, we're doing an hour and a half show live and you know you just some days you're just not feeling it <laughs> this was a day i was just not feeling it so i hope you'll pardon me but you know i learned a few things as i was doing this i learned uh some of the things that i did not like and it was a difficult piece for me to start with just because they were colors that i don't normally work with that was one of the difficulties for me because purple and uh, that coral color are not things that I reach for. I, you know, I like them together in the end, but it just wasn't speaking to me. It wasn't coming together. So anyway, I'll finish this up, uh, give you a parting shot or two and say, uh, come and join us on Art Joy Sharing Live. We do that 10.30 Central Time each Thursday. And that's Art Joy Sharing YouTube channel. And this is just the fast version of what we did in the hour and a half live show. If you are unfamiliar with Art Joy Sharing Facebook group, check that out. Answer the questions, you know, when you apply to get into the group so that we know you're not a robot or something and you're really interested in being part of our community. It's not for sales or anything. It's just a community where we share and enjoy one another and, you know, talk about art. That's what it's all about, helping each other grow in our practice. And Shell and I are doing this uh, 100-day project right now. So we are arting every single day, making something. And if not, we'll, you know, do two on the next day. But, um, yeah, check out the hashtag 100 Days Project. And I think you'll find a lot of art from a lot of artists that are doing this 100 days right along with Shell and I. So I'm going to put some finishing pieces on here, call it a day, and we will see you again next Thursday. Thanks for stopping by, guys, giving me thumbs up, kind comments, and uh, for joining me on this journey. Bye for now.